what's going on YouTube and welcome to my channel. I woke up this morning and I was trying to play Fortnite and I got hit with this screen. If you've been hit with this screen on any of these other games, then you know how I'm feeling and that shit sucked. I like to use mod menus and a couple cheats and sometimes I get my accounts clapped like after a day and making new ones is like really, really, really annoying because you gotta get a new Gmail, a new name, a new phone number, and verify and do, I don't know, you gotta just do all this goddamn crap. But with my internet research that I did, I found this thing called an HWID spoofer. So apparently when games like Fortnite and Apex um, Call of Duty, when they ban you, they ban your like serial numbers or like your drive numbers on your computer. So like your GPU, your CPU, um, whatever other, like your, fa <laughs> your fans maybe, I don't know, whatever numbers are going on in your computer, they freaking ban those. So you can't play the game anymore. And there's a way to change those numbers so you can just like keep playing the game on the same accounts even when they got banned, but you can't actually do that natively. Windows, they don't let you do that because of this reason. So I found this tool, it's called a Haragon Spoofer. And so far it's worked for me on Fortnite and Apex. I've read online in these forums, it works for like COD, Valorant, Escape from Tarkov, even like League of Legends, World of Warcraft. I don't really play those games too often, but I guess if you are into that kind of thing, it'll work for you. But yeah, so I made this video, or I'm making this video, to kind of show you guys how to install it. So let's go ahead and get right into that. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do is come onto your desktop, obviously. Come on over here and come into CMD and run this as administrator. And I'm going to have this code in the description. You guys are just going to want to copy and paste it into here. And you should see and hit enter for the second one and then you should see okay this is just going to clear your guys's network ports so when you guys spoof your ip and stuff like that isn't actually tracked anymore and can actually be changed you're just flushing your dns basically the next thing is you come into your privacy and make sure all these guys are turned off. If they're on, please, for the love of God, turn them off. It's such a simple step, but people overlook it and then the thing doesn't work. Okay, next, you guys might need to get WinRAR. If you don't have a like zipper or unzipper on your guys' computer, it might fuck up the files. If you do have like 7-zip or something natively on Windows, you'll be good. Next, you're gonna wanna get the newest version of uh, Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code, but actual Visual Studio. Just get the newest one. It's for networking and like the GUI and stuff like that. And then, nice cool so then come over here to this link this will be in your description of this video you guys can find it down there if it changes to like a dropbox or something like that don't trip it's just youtube being corny and trying to delete our links so cool just hit download wait for it to download like this <coughs> excuse me cool drag it onto your desktop just like this go ahead and open it got a couple of them in here but once you get actually to the to the main file that's the one you guys are going to look for so go ahead and drag this onto your desktop um oh you know what that didn't work yeah see if you guys have that problem it's because you have to do this individually yeah so fun so fun so fun but this is why you need um what you call it uh winrar or whatever like that Just makes it easier. Okay, cool. So we got the files here on the desktop. Once you guys have that, you can go ahead and like delete these zips. You don't need them anymore. So just go ahead and open this up. And in here, you're gonna see just this pretty simple install guide if you guys don't feel like following along to the video. And there's a couple like troubleshooting issues and stuff like that too. If you guys find issues while installing or trying to run it in here, don't actually mess with any of those. These are just the way we compiled it. And uh, we prefer if you guys launch it from our file here if you don't it might not be able to communicate with the service files and then yeah you're gonna have a you're gonna have a pretty big issue there so yeah um but just to show you that it would work if you did want to you could you could drag it onto here and you can load it but um yeah no worries and then also i think i do have antivirus on if i do i will show you guys that um 
I do have real time protection, dev drive protection. Yeah, I've got all this shit on. So if you guys are worried about this being like a virus or something like that, don't trip completely. But if you're having issues with the install, I would recommend turning that off as it might uh, affect the installation. So once you do that, just go ahead and open it up. And here we go. So we got the Haragon spoofer the enterprise edition not too sure what that means probably something the developers know more about than i do initialize system and there we go sorry just a vape addict over here <laughs> but so cool you go to your dashboard and you guys will see that your security status we're currently protected that's from doing the dns if you didn't do the dns this might not say protected so please go flush your dns with this right here boom like that okay cool you got your system mode your hwood your network id your bios version and your system tracers and you got your quick actions so to use the quick actions i'll walk you guys through this so to change your system id you're going to hit this and there you go you're going to see some of the numbers changed if they didn't all change that's because you have to clean your tracers this should be good yep cool okay tracers clean protected Everything looks good. Now, if these didn't change for you here, which they should, we could run that again. Doesn't matter how many times you guys run this, there's infinite, the number generations here, there's what, 12 numbers? That's like an infinite combo of numbers, but you can actually come into each individual tab here. So what we're gonna do is come over to uh, HWID. So when you first boot the program, I should recommend copying your guys' HWID and like pasting it into a uh, text document here. Like we could go ahead and just do it in here. I know this isn't the real one, but just copy that so that when you do generate a new one, you can actually see the new one generated. Um, come back over here. Yep, just like that. You can see that it generated a new one and it's different than this one. And it's basically gonna do the same thing for all of these. For the BIOS control, this is kind of just like your system BIOS. So first you're gonna to wanna to clean the BIOS logs. Go back into BIOS and then hit reset BIOS. And then as you'll see, we now have a different computer pretty much. Same with network. This is why I had you guys flush your DNS. Let's go ahead and hit reset network. And change Mac. And last but not least, we're gonna clean our tracers one more time. We've already done this in the dashboard though, but it's okay, we'll do it again. And settings, um, yeah, this is, you guys can turn this on if you want. Um, it, I, like, I don't really know what it does. I couldn't find any information on it, so I never, I didn't really fuck with it. But so far with these settings, everything has worked for me pretty good. Um, after this point, you guys might wanna try to restart your computer if it doesn't work, but at this point, you would wanna go ahead and load up any one of your, your, your favorite games here. So like Fortnite, League, Overwatch, even maybe Overwatch. I haven't tried Overwatch. I don't cheat in Overwatch, but I, I bet you it would work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, or like I will say, if you guys need more help, like installing this, please comment down below. I'm going to do my best to respond to everybody. I think this tool should be more publicly available. I don't know. It's awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. Leave a like, subscribe for our first video, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial or showcase or whatever it might be because stuff like this is cool. Okay, bye now.